If somebody would ask me how I would describe the last three years of my life, I literally have no idea where I should start. So much has happened. Some of these things were amazing. Some of these things were not so amazing at all. But in the end, I feel like the decisions I made were the right ones. One of those decisions was deciding to study law. I remember moving to Groningen without knowing anybody and being so scared if I was actually able to do something like this on my own. Now, three years later, I'm standing here with two pieces of paper in my hand that symbolize all of the hard work and struggles I had these last three years. And I feel fucking proud of myself. I got my bachelor in law degree with an 8 out of 10. Although I know this is still the beginning and I still have loads of stuff to achieve, I want to take this moment and appreciate where I've come. Because three years ago, I would never think that I was able to achieve something like this. But in the end, you can achieve everything that you want. You just really have to believe in yourself first. Good morning guys and welcome to law school vlog number 24 or 25? No, I think it's 25. Yeah, law school vlog number 25. This law school vlog is going to be a very memorable law school vlog for me because today it's actually my bachelor graduation day. So previous year I finished my bachelor degree in law, uh, in Dutch law, and uh, today I have my graduation, which is like months later, which is kind of weird, but oh well. But before I have my graduation, I first have class. Uh, I have class from 9 till 11. It's now almost 9, so I'm a bit in a hurry. So I need to go to my class right now. I also didn't really have time to do some breakfast, so I'm going to eat afterwards. I'm still not used to having classes at 9 o'clock. I usually wake up very early and do my shit, but I'm not used to getting to class that early. This is actually my second week of my second half of my first semester, so I still have to get used to this new schedule and new rhythm. So yeah, hopefully next week I'll be able to uh, do all the shit on time, but uh, yeah, today it's a little bit of a struggle. So quick outfit of the day, my dress is from Quiz Clothing, yeah. Um, I'm just wearing some tights from Hema and my boots are from Zara. So very easy outfit and I'm going to wear my usual daily bag, which is my Patricia Pepper bag that is hanging right there. And the camel coat from Mongo. Because this video is about such a special moment for me, I thought uh, it would be very appropriate if I would talk about something you are very interested in. I think it's one of my most asked questions and also give away something to you guys. So I'm going to talk about watches. I'm the type of person that wears watches on a daily basis and I have a very big watch collection and um, yeah, I thought it would be interesting to talk about one of my favorite watches at the moment, which are from Clues. 
So these two watches are from Clues and I'm totally obsessed with them at the moment because they're silver and I'm very into rose gold hardware. I'm very into rose gold as most of you guys know but because I got a new designer bag that has silver hardware I wanted also some watches that I could uh, wear with that bag without uh, having the issue of clashing hardware. So I have these two watches. Uh, this watch is the first one, um, it has a light grey strap and silver hardware and it's very feminine, very dainty. And this watch is a little bit, um, how would I describe it, more masculine or uh, unisex. This is a watch a guy could wear as well, especially if the guy has a little bit of a smaller wrist. Um, so you can definitely share this with your brother or your boyfriend. Which I don't have both of them, but oh well. Marble on the inside, and I think that's just so cool. I think that's a very unique, um, yeah, I think that's just a very unique design. And it definitely looks very cool with more minimal and uh, unisex outfits. So I teamed up with Clues watches, and I'm going to give away one watch to you guys. I'm very excited about that, because I feel a watch is an essential like if there's one thing you should definitely invest in when it comes to jewelry it's a watch honestly i don't really wear that much jewelry i wear my earrings every day i have this ring that i wear every day and i have some bracelets but that's it like i'm not a very big necklace person or something so um i'm not going to bore you with all the rules of this giveaway they're very easy and i will link them all down below in the description box so if you want to enter this giveaway which is international by the way, uh, just open the description box down below and all the rules and all the links are down there. So I hope I can make you happy with one of my favorite watches at the moment. I think they're both stunning and very different and that's, I know, that's how I like my watches to be. I like them to be simple but different at the same time. Hey guys, uh, so I just filmed two videos and I'm so tired. So I'm wearing a different outfit because it was actually a try-on haul that I filmed. I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it. But um, yeah, I thought to do a quick outfit of the day because I actually really like how this looks. So my sweater is from Shein Side, my jeans are from Pull and & Bear and my shoes are from Nelly. And okay, this is the after. This is actually reality, how my room looks like if I just filmed uh, a... <laughs> in the room, I would like to welcome all the students who will come to the evening and we will come to the evening. And from the academy, all the students, from 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 the students, ja. Over het algemeen is dat ook een kenmerk van een goede student, dat blijkt ook uit de cijferluitzetting uitstekend studenten, um, dat inderdaad dat kunnen combineren, goed kunnen plannen, dat dat toch eigenlijk wel iets is wat je ziet uh, zeg maar, als mensen echt goed in de, in de opleiding zitten. Combinatie wetselijkwijs begeert de onderzoeksmaster. Ik denk dat ook dat u zeg maar... Nog een bijzondere aandacht? Uh, ja, ik vind strafrecht heel erg interessant, maar ik wil het ook combineren met uh, IT-recht en dan met cybercrime. Oké. Okay. En dan ook nog een beetje filosofie erbij. <laughs> heel breed. Heel breed. <laughs> nou ja, goed, voor het IT-recht geldt, daar zit er heel duidelijk, uh, zeg maar, zit wel een zekere filosofische kant aan, omdat daar heel erg nagedacht wordt van ja, hoe moeten we nou al die nieuwe ontwikkelingen reguleren? Dan word je inderdaad helemaal teruggeworpen op wat, is nou, wat zijn nou eigenlijk de uitgangspunten van het recht? Dat geldt bijvoorbeeld ook voor de privacyrecht, wat ik eerder genoemd heb. Dus daar zijn nog uh, hele mooie dingen te doen. En ook heel veel ruimte voor, uh, voor promotieonderzoek. Ja, dat doe je op. Vanuit.
Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged that much today uh, and that's because it was a very uh, very emotional day for me. Uh, I had just uh, had my bachelor graduation and now we're eating something here and um, yeah, I'm very happy and I'm here with my mom. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was very nice. Uh, it was a little bit stressful but um, yeah, I'm very glad that I have my degree now. So it's quite some time later right now uh, and that's because I've actually been working. I actually didn't get this degree, I got this degree uh, last summer or this summer um, but I wanted to make pictures with both of them. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very happy and uh, in uh, the little folders there are all my marks and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just uh, very happy and right now I've been uploading a video. Okay, the best feeling ever is when you're eating your favorite ice cream and you're just starting that first spoon. Oh my god, I love it. And my video is almost done with uploading. It will be live in 10 minutes. Hey guys, um, as you can probably tell, I'm filming this part of the video way later but I still wanted to include this part in the video as well because it's pretty important um, and yeah, I wanted to get it out of the way uh, if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram all the links are down below by the way you know that I got all of my grades back and I haven't been able to share it in a video with you yet because uh, I had a lot of different videos that I wanted to upload first if you haven't watched them yet please do because I think they turned out pretty good and hopefully they're going to be helpful for you as well but I wanted to share it in this video to kind of get it out of the way so you're all up to date with me uh, because I'm actually now in my second half of my first semester for a while so um, yeah it I just really wanted to share my grades with you because they turned out pretty well so my first grade was an 8 for criminology which I'm so happy about then I got a 7.8 for history of philosophy 1 and I also got a uh, 7.5 for social and political philosophy so I'm just very happy that I passed all of my exams with good grades and um, although it seems a little bit weird to say this in this vlog because this vlog is about my graduation I was kind of doubting myself recently because I'm uh, to be a double degree student and running my blog and my webshop and everything at the same time um, honestly this year has been so much more busy than previous year so I was kind of stressing out how I could combine everything because I didn't want to give up law school, I didn't want to give up my business, I didn't want to give up anything. So I was very worried about how my grades would be because I couldn't do everything perfectly like I usually do. I promise you I'm not perfect at all. But I'm just very happy that I still got very good grades and, and it definitely gives me confidence as well knowing that I can do this. And um, yeah, I'm just very happy. So um, yeah, I just really wanted to share that with you in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as well. Um, if you're happy for me, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you are studying because I would love to know and like how long you still need to study for. Um, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Good morning guys and welcome to a new law school vlog. This is actually already law school vlog number 24. 